video series, we want to look at collections. So as you might know, collections are a very powerful feature of Cypher already. And um, besides the built-in functionality for collections, which I'll show you quickly at the beginning, APOC adds in a lot of uh, additional functions um, that you can use uh, to make even more out of collections in, in Cypher. Okay, let's get started. So we have our empty database running uh, again here, nothing in there. And um, we can uh, just get started. Uh, so the basic uh, Cypher uh, collection things are, I can uh, create a collection, a literal collection. So we can just do a collection one to three. Um, we can also create a collection of range uh, one to 10. Uh, so if I want to have a step factor, I can do uh, give the step factor here. Uh, and then I can, of course, uh, do something with this collection. So for instance, I can say, I want to iterate over all the elements of a collection. So x in uh, one, two, three. And then I want to, for instance, uh, square all these values. Right. So then I get uh, one, four, nine. Um, uh, I can also, instead of just uh, squaring them, I can also filter them. So I can say where x uh, modulo 2 equals 0, so all the um, even ones. So in this case, it's only 2. So if I change our uh, collection to a range, let's say 1 to uh, 20, uh, so we get all the uh, even numbers. And then we can, co of course, combine the two and say I want to have the squares of all even numbers. So that's kind of filtering and uh, operations on collections. Uh, another really cool operation on a collection is reduce. Uh, reduce is a folding operation, uh, which starts with an accumulator. So we have uh, our accumulator is A. In this case, uh, we initialize it to uh, zero, and then we have our range. And then for each element in our range, we want to do something. For instance, we could say, a plus x, so the accumulator in every uh, uh, round is uh, passed in again, and then we can, for instance, sum up. Um, we can sum up uh, the value. So 210 is the sum of the numbers of 1 to 20. Uh, of course, we can com combine com combine all of that. Uh, if I would use the multiply here, I would stay at now zero because, of course, uh, zero times something always uh, turns into zero. But you can also do something like a uh, two string of x. Um, and then we can uh, start with an empty string here, for instance, and um, add a dash in the middle, for instance. So we could also turn our list of numbers into a um, into a string, for instance, with, with reduce. So reduce is quite powerful uh, for working over collections. And um, the other thing that's quite uh, quite powerful in Cypher itself is uh, the collect operation as an aggregation operation. So um, if you haven't done that, uh, so collect is a really good way in Cypher to create uh, data. So I, in our case, uh, I have my movies here really quickly. And um, I can, uh, for instance, for each, uh, or I can just collect them into lists. So I can just return, for instance, collect and dot title, which is an aggregation. And uh, then I get just one list back, which is a real list or array uh, in your programming language um, that has all the titles, right? And this could also be a, an expression. So I could also say, I want to actually have the length of the titles as a list, right? So this uh, also, uh, of course, works. And this list, then you can use uh, from, from the aggregation, you can use uh, for a uh, collection operation. Really cool it's, uh, uh, is this when you combine this uh, with uh, more complex patterns and aggregations. For instance, you want to have uh, the cast of a movie, then um, you would just uh, return uh, the people's um, names that interacted with the movie, and then you have uh, the cast uh, for each movie, right? So we get, could return the um, title of the movie and the cast of each movie as an as a collection. So this is po really powerful for these uh, um, head and uh, children operations. Okay, cool. Let's see what APOC uh, adds on top of that. Oh, I forgot, of course, uh, 
you can uh, for uh, lists you can do subscripts so I can get the first element I can get a subscript um, so the first to the second element uh, to a third I can also do minus one uh, to count from the end for instance that's, that's also possible and uh, there are also uh, things like head and tail Um, so tail is except the first element, so two, three, and so on. So that's also operations that you can do. And of course, you can com combine also lists by just adding them together, three, four. Uh, so you get uh, a list out of that. So what else do we want to do with lists? So for instance, if you look at, um, at the epoch function, so either you do uh, call epoch.help uh, call, so all collection functions have a column name, so we can just say apoc call, and then we see uh, all the collection uh, procedures and functions uh, here, which we also can see on the website. So we can also go to the apoc uh, help pages and uh, see some of them. So we can uh, see a bunch of these uh, that we can try out. So apoc uh, call dot sum of a range from one to 10, uh, Oops, epoch, I forgot to see. So it's 55. Uh, we can also uh, compute the average. Uh, we can also uh, compute min and max, of course. As you can see, we can uh, partition a list, which is quite nice. So imagine we have a list with 100 elements uh, and uh, want to partition that into batches of, let's say, five. Uh, then I get an Um, it might be even a procedure. Let's see. Yeah, that's a procedure. So it returns a value. So it returns a stream of sublists of uh, these elements uh, always. Uh, then uh, we have zip, which kind of takes two lists and zips them together into pairs. Uh, so um, we can take a range from 1 to 10 and another range from uh, let's say uh, 10 to 20, uh, so it should zip it into pairs of lists where one element is always taken from one list. Um, then we have a pairs uh, value uh, function which uh, does the inverse basically. Uh, so we uh, have um, epoch call, call pairs, uh, which is quite useful uh, if you want to do, for instance, comparisons on, for instance, relationships in a path or so. Right? So if I have a range of 1 to 10, uh, it would only t always take the first element with the second, the second with the third, and so on. So you could imagine I have here, instead of a range, I have relationships of a path. And then so I would have first and second, second and third, so I could uh, take these pairs and say something like uh, where all pair in uh, pairs uh, where, uh, for instance, uh, pair of zero dot and is less than pair of one one dot start. So, for instance, if I have a condition between relationships in a path. Uh, that, that, for instance, the end time of the previous one has to be before the start time of the next one, for instance, flight routing, I can do something like that quite nicely uh, with epoch call, call pairs. And you see here, the last one has a null in there, so there's a pairs min that doesn't do the like empty last pair, but only uh, not main, but min, pairs min. Uh, so it just uh, does it up to the last element. So that's quite useful. Uh, for uniqueness, uh, it's very handy to have a uh, return apoc call uh, to a set. So if I have a list with duplicates in there, uh, one, one, 
to two, and I call apoc call to set. It actually turns it into one to three, which is the set of these uh, numbers, which is also often quite useful to see how how many unique numbers do you have in a set. Uh, of course, you can sort a collection. So if I take this uh, collection and sort it, then it um, sorts it uh, numerically. Uh, so you can also call uh, sort uh, nodes, where you pass in a list of nodes and pass in a property that you want to sort it by, or uh, pass in a list of maps and a property that you want to sort it by. So for instance, we can say um, we, uh, you can just call uh, epoch sort maps on uh, a list of maps. So we have, for instance, uh, a1 and a5 and a3 and a, uh, let's say, 2. And we want to sort these maps by uh, the key a. Then we get a sorted list a1, a2, a3, a5 uh, back as uh, my result. Uh, we can reverse a collection, that is something that now was added to itself itself. So uh, if you take a range and uh, call reverse, reverse on it, it should actually do uh, reverse it. Yep. So it's now in cipher, so we don't need it anymore. Contains uh, is something that uh, is also some um, something that was added to self itself but the APOC implementation was a little bit more, more efficient. Uh, so we can do APOC call uh, contains range one to a million, and we want to see if these, there's numbers in there, and then it um, would return true. Of course, you can also say return uh, number in range, then it would also return true. So that should be uh, now also possible. Contains all, does the same with a list of values. And um, then you can also do a set operation. So you can do union subtract, intersection, disjunction, union all, and remove all onto collections. So for instance, if I have uh, epoch call uh, subtract, and I have a range of one, uh, to 20, and I want to subtract the range from 5 uh, to 10. This should leave me, uh, oops, return. Uh, should me leave me with a gap between uh, 5 and 10. And so the, all the other um, set operations are quite self-explaining. Um, so I don't want to show them here. Uh, splitting a list uh, by a value is also quite nice. Uh, so we can uh, split split a list, for instance, by the value uh, seven, and then uh, oops, epoch call split value. Uh, so this could also be that this was a procedure. Yeah. So basically, it's a procedure that returns as many rows as you have the split item. So if you have the split item multiple times, then it would kind of split every time on this item and you get as many rows returned. Index of uh, gives you the index of a value in the collection. So we can say um, index of, and we can say, okay, in which position is this uh, at position six is seven in in this range. Uh, you have shuffle for randomizing a, a collection. So if I have, sometimes you need this for um, some uh, randomization in, in recommendations or so. I can just shuffle this uh, shuffle this list. You can also pick random items, one random item or multiple random items from from the collection, which is also quite useful. Um, random item. Uh, so every time you call this, you get another random item, which is basically the same as uh, if you have a collection like this, uh, C of two integer from rent times uh, length of C. Right, so that's 
uh, basically the same, but um, it's much nicer to read as a, as a function, basically. And uh, the other thing is random items um, gives you a collection and you can give an item count how many items you want to have and if you want to have a repick or not. So if an item can be multiple times in there. So um, if you go back to our uh, random item, uh, random items. So let's say I have a list of 1 to 100. I want to have 20 random items. So these would be um, all unique, so you don't get duplicates. But if I do a repick uh, true, then I, you know, if I am lucky, then you should see like 9999. Uh, so the same random value has been picked twice. Uh, you can check if a collection co contains duplicates. So um, return epoch call uh, contains uh, duplicates. Uh, so, and we have 111 has a duplicate, but 123 shouldn't. Right. And uh, you can also return the duplicate items uh, from collection, and you can also get the top duplicates with accounts. So you get even like uh, little statistics on the on the um, on the collection. So if I have 111, 22, 3, 3, then I get uh, basically a map with the count and the item uh, back. So that's really nice for seeing. What, um, what is there. Same is um, for occurrences in general, basically, uh, which also does the non-duplicate ones, and frequencies um, as well. So this is occurrences for a single item in a collection, and this is frequencies of all items, uh, including uh, count one. Um, sorting, uh, you can sort uh, collections uh, of maps, um, by multiple fields uh, where you can uh, then say I have multiple sort keys and uh, you can say if you have ascending sort you prefix the uh, sort key with, an, with a caret. Flattening, flattening list is also quite nice if you had uh, for instance uh, a nested list so for instance imagine you had this list as uh, three little lists that are nested then we can uh, just flatten it out oops three three this has to be a list as well so and it turns it into a single list so for instance if you want to do a collect of a collect uh, for instance and then um, you want to have uh, just a single list out of this uh, two level collect uh, then uh, that's something you can do so um, combinations, that's kind of um, Cartesian product between multiple, uh, uh, between a list and itself. Uh, you can say uh, what you want to have as min and max selects. And um, uh, the uh, elements uh, function I'll explain uh, later. And then uh, you also have some modifications uh, functions as well. So you can set a collection at a certain index to a certain value. You can insert a value at a certain index and also insert multiple values at an index or remove values from an index. That's also something that's not possible in plain cipher. So, for instance, if I say return epoch call uh, set, I have this list 1 to 3, and at position 1, I want to set it to 5, uh, then I should get 1, 5, five 3. Right? And with insert, it would insert the 5 into this position. And uh, if I do remove, I can uh, remove one element at this. I remove five elements at this position. And um, with that, I um, covered a lot of collection functions. And if you have more uh, questions, please join us on Slack or visit our uh, display link to see the repository and the docs or watch more videos on YouTube. Thank you.